you guys want to get 10% off on a FinFab setup, you can go to yodamafia.com and uh, use code Blake's Garage. I'll, I'll put it right down here. 10% off. Pretty dang sweet. Um, and I am repping some of their stuff, which is cool. So I was able to get a hold of FinFab and I actually got another one of these sides, which is freaking awesome. I do have to add some rib nuts to it. Uh, that way we can put in the shelf, but let's go ahead and put in this side bracket. All right, so we got this Molly panel set up right here uh, on the FinFab stuff, but I've been I've been using this. I put some zip ties in here for just temporary setups and whatnot. I just put a zip tie around here, and I was able to kind of use the uh, the Molly setup for now. Um, and then I just actually zip tied the uh, little tonneau thing to the back right here. I may make some like better brackets or something like that. But if you guys are kind of wondering, because I live in Sacramento and stuff's gonna get stolen if it's like highly visible. So what I'll do now is I just kind of take off my little zip tie area. I just have it literally just in there like that. Boom, pop that back, then I got all my stuff. So I'm hoping to get that shelf in here, which will be really cool. But um, now what we gotta do is just pop this back. We gotta get in here, expose the screw for that one. This one is a very easy. We just twist this clockwise. You can see we have a uh, screw in there. So we got to use a Phillips to get that out. And then right up here, we're going to go ahead and pop that down and take this little bolt off as well. So I'm kind of hoping I can use like my little tool setup. So I have these nice little coho things I got from Costco. I'm hoping I can kind of put those on the shelf back here. I don't know. We'll see when we uh, when we get the shelf in. But let's grab a Phillips. Let's grab this Klein one. We're just gonna go ahead and remove this. Oh yeah, that's tight. These panels install really nicely. I guess some of the other brands of panels do not have as slick of a setup as the FinFab stuff. Um, from what I've been reading, it, it, it seems like some people have had some issues with uh, other styles of Molly panel. So this is really cool. Um, I do have these little shades. I did sew in like a backing right there. I'm gonna just leave those in. They help reflect out the sun and everything. And basically you can't see what's in my car back here, which is great. You know, I got tint, but it just kind of blocks it out. So you can't really see what's going on. I'm also kind of hoping, uh, I have my little pack out and I got my little plate right here. So I'm also hoping that I can use this pack out plate and maybe mount it underneath the shelf. So we'll kind of see what goes on there uh, with that whole setup. But let's go ahead and grab, I think a 10 mil, which is the smallest I have on here. I keep this bigger uh, socket set in my car just because most suspension components are uh, more likely to be a half inch size or, or a larger size bolt. So little stuff, I mean, I don't know, maybe you can do it with this, but you know, so whatever. I think that this is a, a sweet little setup to have in my rig. Now for today's video sponsor, we have this sweet uh, wireless car charger. And as we're on car interior modifications, I felt like this kind of coupled pretty decent with this video. What's inside the box here? A wireless charging piece, a nice little suction cup mount. We got a USB-C on the back here. Nice USB-C cord to USB-A. Also it came with a 12 volt adapter. Anchor put together a pretty nice little kit here. You can see it's got some 3M backing uh, for some wire tie downs. After I got an easy access one here in the uh, little center divide that I can plug into and then we can plug in this USB. It's kind of cool on Toyotas right here. They actually put a little notch in. It comes with this little uh, suction cup mount which has some no joke 3M uh, VHB tape. Set up our spot and uh, then we can hold our phone from that mount. We can peel this backing piece off this on here get a good amount of suction going put the wire down maybe throw it in the glove box or something here is today's video sponsor get up to 40 percent off on their christmas sale on wireless chargers and all other cool things that they sell on their website i'll leave a link down below in the description check it out and look at that it'll start a charging which is pretty sweet first spot i might even rock it might even be here i don't know i gotta figure out the, the best spot that i kind of like it at. now but, back to the uh, fin fab yeah, the molly cool. rack and taking off that 10 mil right there it's pretty loose we're just gonna go ahead and reuse the bolt that's on this uh hook here now if we actually want to install the hook on the outside i think we still can um i think there's gonna be enough Oops, enough threads there to still use this, but we'll see because um, it actually does have a pin. 
I don't know if that pin would work, so you might have to actually snap that off, but if that's something you want to keep, I think you could. So the prep for this is pretty dang easy. We're just going to use a flathead now, pop that off and lose it because, you know, that's what we do. This one also has a Phillips on it, which is great. Um, the other stuff is going to be uh, Allen's, so just keep that in mind. We'll have to find our Allen wrenches. Oh my God, it's getting a little tight here. Oh yeah, uh-oh, I hope that's fine. That felt a little funny, but I think we're still good. So yeah, all right. There is our old hardware. We will hang on to that. Okay, so here is the hardware I was talking about. It's nice because it just has a longer bolt and then it has this really nice uh, machined space there. So everything seems to be stainless steel as far as the bolts go. I'm gonna flip over that washer because I don't like it that direction. I like the rounded ends of uh, washers out. Oh my God, I dropped it. The spacer itself is gonna be made of aluminum, but it's really nice. It's rigid. Um, this one is so solid, man. It's like super good. So I really like their setup. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this in now. And if I didn't mention it before, uh, these plates actually use um, this great idea of using riv nuts. So you put in riv nuts just like this, boom, you can add riv nuts wherever on this thing and you're good to go um, for bolting stuff down, which is really cool. The other thing I kind of dig in this is like, it has a little bit of adjustability, which is really great. So I'm gonna go ahead and like semi tighten these down right now. Actually, I think I can get them in their place. I'm gonna put them into the uh, same spot, which is kind of fully back, as you can see, like that. Um, so we'll just do it the same, that way, you know, the shelf lines up nicely, but you know, you do have a little bit of adjustability forward and back with that hole and this hole here and this hole here. So you can kind of adjust your molly panel around a little bit, which is cool. So we're gonna be using a five millimeter Allen and it looked like my uh, 10 millimeter fit on the back here, so that's great. All right, so now we got this piece of hardware right here. So the shorter one goes at the back of the area right here. I'll just kind of insert that. I'm trying to do this one-handed, hold on, let me slip this on. So basically that goes on very easily. You can see we do have a little bit of like leeway, wiggle room, right? Because we can adjust that and we can adjust that up there, which is pretty cool actually, I like it. Um, so I just went ahead and uh, hand started that and we'll go ahead and get this other spacer going in the back here as well. All right, let's see what we can do here. Spacer, out the washer. gonna go ahead and hand thread that as much as possible I'm trying to kind of get any of this deflection out with my arm if possible uh, before so I don't like cross thread it or anything but that feels pretty decent there I'm gonna loosen this up just a tad over here but yeah that feels good this last little screw going on here this last allen tightened up and we will actually be good on this molly panel which is great these things feel so nice and strong they're super easy to install which is cool oh yeah nice and tight there nice and tight there Let's check these i did loosen them a little so yeah might have to get behind there with that 10 mil again but this is looking good Okay, so this is nice and solid, and you can see it has this cutout right here for that Blue Seas uh, panel. So you can put like, like a DC charger in here, USB-C, USB-A, or USB-B, whatever. Uh, you know, like right here, I have that Blue Seas 4.8 output, but I'll probably want to put something in here, which would be nice, because I do have some uh, wiring. I have a whole auxiliary, like, uh, fuse box over here and then I have some connectors over here and everything so uh, yeah we'll be doing something with that in the future I am going to be putting a fire extinguisher on here and everything so I'll do a, a loadout a kit loadout 
Um, I'll probably show the fire extinguisher install in another video, but yeah, these panels are sick. Now let's see if I can go get the rack and kind of see what we can do to uh, get that in the car. Okay, so this is nice and solid and you can see it has this cutout right here for that blue seas uh panel so you can put like like a dc charger in here usb c usb a or usb b whatever uh you know like right here i have that blue seas 4.8 output but i'll probably want to put something in here which would be nice because i do have some uh wiring i have a whole auxiliary like uh fuse box over here and then I have some connectors over here and everything. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing something with that in the future. I am gonna be putting a fire extinguisher on here and everything. So I'll do a, a loadout, a kit loadout. Um, I'll probably show the fire extinguisher install in another video, but yeah, these panels are sick. Now let's see if I can go get the rack and kind of see what we can do to uh, get that in the car. All right, so a quick trick. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just zip tie my uh, my new tray up there just to hold it, because I think it'll be a little bit easier. I, I got a bunch of zip ties right here, just chilling. So I'll put like two or three zip ties on each side, and I think it'll hold it up while I uh, try to bolt it in. Now I do actually need to go get some more rib nuts, but I do have some hardware. I know uh, that's not the best way, but uh, yeah, I might wait on it. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt it with just regular hardware because I don't have the rib nuts right now, but uh, rib nuts in the future for sure. Okay, and this is kind of what I was curious about. So like, because this is a one piece design, which I think is superior to most just due to the rigidity of the rack itself, I think that's really cool. But I think we're gonna actually have to add, uh, move it up. Now, in the future, I don't know, maybe I'll make a spacer or something like that because I did kind of want it like right here uh so maybe i'll have to like make a little spacer make a bolt spacer washer type thing basically like this same little setup um which i could do pretty easily i guess with just some stock could probably find something like that but uh anyways if i did that it'd be kind of cool because my idea was that i put these boxes on top of the shelf i kind of wanted to put those boom right here um, so that they were easily accessible and just kind of out of the way and I could have more like free space down here But I think what's gonna end up happening is all this stuff will just get moved up to the top shelf up here So yeah, I was thinking uh, Basically, I was going to put this in with bolts, but I think that's really stupid I'm gonna I'm just gonna order some uh, some rib nuts because that's what this thing's all about. So it's, it's really dumb to, to do it that way. Plus I have some extra hardware and stuff that I wanna do for this panel. So I'll probably mount that up first and everything um, just to kind of get it all set and ready to go. And then we'll uh, kind of get this finalized. But for now, I'll pop this back out and I wanna show how I can kind of use this. Like I said, I gotta build something, but if you need something, you can kind of just zip tie this thing on here and it's something. Uh, maybe I'll make a custom one in the future or maybe I'll modify this one that I have up here to fit a little better But if you want to get by with something that covers up your junk back here or not even junk your expensive items uh, You can just use some zip ties and kind of get that in place So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like um, just zip tied up and it's it's not that difficult to undo You just kind of put your hand over here and just kind of push the zip tie to the side, but that way when your trunk is closed, you can't see all the goods back here, um, which is kind of nice. So, you know, boom, you're looking in there. You're just seeing that instead of uh, seeing all the goods. Yes, you can see those things on the side. However, from the back with the tent, it's not super visible. On to putting a fire extinguisher in the front seat. H3R Performance Fire Extinguisher. These things are amazing. Uh, dry chemical Halgard. One of the best fire extinguishers you can buy. They are quite expensive, but it is well worth it because uh, they don't corrode if you spray it on your car. Uh, you could even spray it in your car and it's not going to destroy the interior or anything like that. So highly, highly recommended. But we also got their nice little pro lock right here, which we are going to throw onto the seat mount. And since I got the seat up right now, we'll go ahead and pop that in. Basically, you take off four 14 millimeter bolts, 
on your Toyota seat or whatever seat you've got. And then we're going to mount up the particular bracket and this fire extinguisher mount. So this stock mount works great for whatever you need to use it for. Um, but I think we are going to ditch that one now um, because we're going to put the little fancy guy on it, which is this Prolock. Super sick billet uh they make it in all their different sizes look at these awesome looking rings so we're gonna mount that up there we got the cool little latch with the h3r logo on it very clean very nice this is the actual little like quick release mount it's gonna go on the fire extinguisher itself and these are going to bolt right to it just like this right so we're gonna put that in put the screws on then um get this thing going comes with an allen wrench in here which is great instructions and the little pieces so let's get it going i'm just going to go ahead and slide these rings over now we can figure out the position of how we want the fire extinguisher so we'll just go ahead and kind of install the bracketry loose this is just going to go right on here and we will put the screws in as you can see there it goes like this um and then this piece right here is what's actually going to install to the mount which installs to the seat so pretty straightforward and easy but super super clean stuff we do have some bigger ones that are countersunk those are going to go for the actual mounting of this as you can see that flange piece right when it sits it's going to sit flush in there like that so they're countersunk and they look they look like this and we'll install those into the rings loosely and get it all mounted up. Got the countersunk Allen right here, all stainless, which is very nice. Uh, we got a little stainless washer and a locking nut. So that is all gonna go on this bracket right here, which is gonna go under the seat. Now they make a bunch of different uh, setups too. And you know, you can do different things like roll bar mounts and all that type of stuff, which is pretty sweet. But for the front of my car, I'm gonna be ending up using this. So it comes with the little hardware pack with everything we need in it, because we also have these other two larger brackets, which we may end up using. I kind of got to figure out what I'm going to do on this particular vehicle, but it's basically this universal kit that fits any car. We have these little brackets right here that are in the kit. And then we have the main bracket, which is actually two pieces. As you can see, this piece uh, detaches and it basically slides so that we can make our span as needed for the actual seat itself for the distance of the rails. So. This is cool, all pre-drilled and everything. So what we'll do here is we will install this guy on here. That way we're able to, well, have the fire extinguisher mounted up nice and clean. This is basically how we're gonna set this thing up. These are the Prolock instructions. As you can see, this is the backside and this is how they want us to uh, install this. So you can see we got the multiple washers on there. It is using a double stacked washer in that one spot right there as those holes are slightly bigger than the others. Um, but this overall looks to be pretty straightforward. So we're gonna set it up like that um, and basically copy their diagram and we'll be good to go. So along with the supplied washers, we do have to use the ones from the mounting uh, plate right here, which is in that bag of screws. So you will need to use kind of these larger washers as this hole right here is slightly bigger than the factory holes right here. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. Using a 5 16th nut driver is going to speed this up a bit. So you can see here we have the two different brackets. We got the smaller bracket here, which as you can see, if I put that on there at this side angle, it's really not going to fit in that opening. Yes, right here it would work and it would work kind of in this direction. However, that's not how the mount works. We actually put this piece on the side and put a bolt through there and then span the gap with uh, this. So this particular bracket on my car, as you can see, goes right there. It almost would even work there, but it's gonna work right there. And you can see on this seat itself, it is going to have enough room with that bolt hole through and we should be good. Right now is where you're gonna to wanna to test and make sure you have enough room with your factory seat bolts. So you can see I do have enough room, so we're good to go. I'm basically just gonna put these brackets underneath the seat like this, um, and then they should bolt up quite well. I think I'm gonna be putting them on the inside uh, like this. And then this little piece is kinda of gonna span the gap. As you can see, you can kinda of just adjust that however. Because this is a one piece design, which I think is superior to most just due to the rigidity of the rack itself. I think that's really cool, but I think we're going to actually have to add a uh, move it up now in the future. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a spacer or something like that. Cause I did kind of want it like right here. 
Uh, so maybe I'll have to like make a little spacer, make a bolt spacer washer type thing, basically like this same little setup, um, which I could do pretty easily, I guess, with just some stock. Could probably find something like that. But uh, anyways, if I did that, it'd be kind of cool because my idea was that I put these boxes on top of the shelf. I kind of wanted to put those boom right here um, so that they were easily accessible and just kind of out of the way and I could have more like free space down here. But I think what's gonna end up happening is all this stuff will just get moved up to the top shelf up here. All right, so I got my panel here. I got new rib nuts, whole rib nut set. Um, I'll leave links down to these below, uh, these rib nuts. And then I love these like from Harbor Freight. I just have a bunch of these just random bolts and screws and stuff. Uh, we're gonna be installing the Blue Sea little switch. With those, uh, I'm gonna be using these little rib nuts real quick, which will work out very well. Um, I also have a poly nut slash rib nut kit right here. I'll leave a link down to this one below as well. I don't remember if it does, uh, the 5 16th one. I don't know what die I have in here, so I'll have to uh, check on that right now. But uh, basically, it has a whole bunch of different rib nuts that we can use uh, or tools that we can use for it. Um, this one's quarter. I think maybe I only have it up to quarter inch, so I might just have to use the nut and bolt trick. But uh, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and install a couple. All right, so I'm hitting my Blue Seas panel uh, with the little Riv nut right here. I'm gonna put that in, give her a squeeze. I don't know if I could do this one handed. Oh, I might need two hands. Let's see. Uh, yeah, anyways, believe me, you put this in here and give it a squeeze. Once you're fully squeezed on that riv nut, you can just literally just remove the, what is, what would be the die or the bolt uh, that pulls back on it. And you can see I got those two in right now. I'm gonna get these two real quick and then we'll move on to the other procedure, because I'm gonna use some uh, some bigger ones like these. I forget if I have to drill these out. I might have to drill these really quick just to open them up just ever so slightly. So here's my little Blue C uh, adapter. This has my 12 volt little plug right there for whatever. Um, I also have the USBs right there. They are a 2.1 amp output. And then my little meter, this is a breaker here. So you will just flip that on and off. Literally all I have to do is uh, on this guy right here, on the yellows, that's gonna be ground. And then I just gotta put a positive wire right here. All right, so now it is time for the shelf. Uh, this installed very nicely, it looks good. I just recessed it with those holes. Um, just kind of open those up a little bit, use these Allens with the five mil, looks great. I'll actually be able to plug in behind here with my hand and uh, I should be able to get to those plugs without having to take it out again. I can if I want, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put on that upper shelf. So my rib nuts uh, have to open up these holes. I gotta open up my holes just slightly for my rib nuts. I don't know. These are Amazon ones. These are not the ones that it comes with. I wasn't able to find these on Amazon or anywhere. Uh, they're like an aluminum rib nut, which look nice, but yeah, like I said, I couldn't find them. So we're gonna open this hole up, which I did a little bit until I can get this rib nut in and uh, we'll go ahead and install the four rib nuts on this side. Putting some stuff up here. Uh, I actually have my Milwaukee pack out kind of down there. Um, I think I'm just gonna zip tie the shovel or wrap the shovel right down on here, which is cool. Kind of just free up all the space sort of down here. Um, my recovery gear, this is very heavy. So if I was like in an accident or something, I wouldn't want that flying into my head so I'm keeping that kind of out of the way. But uh, yeah, most of the other stuff seems fairly lightweight or it wouldn't rip my freaking head off. So this is kind of where I'm at for now. Uh, I need more rib nuts and I want to do the aluminum ones because I don't want to cut a whole bunch of shavings. So anyways, I just bolted this in for now uh, temporarily and it looks really good. Um, I do kind of, however, wish I could move it down more. I mean, I guess I could possibly make like some spacers in between here and we could use um, these areas right here. Because I ideally, I really wanted the shelf to be able to contain uh, possibly these and like be able to ratchet strap them down or whatever so I could kind of get them out of the way. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, I have some stuff, you know, back there 
or whatever. Usually I just slide this back, get those kind of organized right there and then kind of have this, but I need to get like some quick fists um, to put this on. I just zip tied some stuff on here. We got the quick release on the Milwaukee stuff. Uh, the best way I kind of saw to do that was upside down. Just because I have the lip, I can't really use the pack out stuff because of the lip here. Um, something I would like to do is, you know, use that if I could stack it or something. But I guess I can stack them upside down, which is totally fine. And until I actually like see all those sockets fall off, um, it's going to be good for now. Because like this is pack out and all that. I got this little X. We'll put that back in here. Um, I do have a chainsaw for the truck and everything like that but I want to figure out a mount for that as well. Some sort of mounting solution would be great. Something that I could kind of contain the bar in. I was thinking about putting maybe something for trips on uh, this kind of ladder rack situation that I have here. Maybe I mount the chainsaw sort of like right here, which would be pretty sweet, I think. Um, so yeah, you may see future videos on that. So the FinFab rack has been working out amazing. I gotta mount my fire extinguisher on here, so I'm gonna do that. I'm still gonna wire up this guy. I just gotta put a 12 volt source to this, super easy. I just haven't done it. Um, but with a little Milwaukee pack out rack that I put under here, this is awesome. Uh, you just grab yourself um, one of these platforms and I put some bolts in here, drilled that on there and just made it very nice and easy to mount stuff underneath. Um, I may even, you know, do another one on the other side. This was just temporary. I'm probably going to change that up and kind of where that's mounted. Um, I just kind of put a paper towel on a zip tie for now. But yeah, I'm loving how this works. I have all my stuff up here. My inflator, deflator, you know, my uh, ropes, recovery ropes and that sort of thing. My, this is my Sandy Cat stuff. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff, this window reflector, um, my boots, my mud boots, muck boots, you know, all that stuff. Here's some clothing and stuff for camping, but it's just really great, easy to use. And uh, I love having it there. It's, it's a very nice system. And what's cool about the FinFab one, I mean, it's an upside and a downside, I guess, but is that it's single piece. So I couldn't, I don't know, maybe you can, but I wasn't able to really like mount it any lower. This is kind of where it went. But I like the fact that a lot of the other ones are multi-piece. And I just don't feel that you're going to get the rigidity uh, as you would out of the FinFab being a single piece. It's very nice. This is an H3R performance one. Uh, super nice. This is in the red color. Um, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I got it in red. And uh, just so you're aware, the reason I'm running the dry chemical on this one in particular um, to the one which is a clean agent is because, well, in the back, I'm going to be cooking and whatnot. And this is an ABC fire extinguisher and, you know, it's rated for that sort of thing. So I also got some of these nice little bracket mounting plates from H3R, which is really cool. That's going to work great on the, uh, the Molly in the back there and make it super easy to mount up. And then we got the Extreme Duty Quick Release. It's a Model NB300 uh, with a little pull pin and all of that. There's these nice little pieces that wrap around the extinguisher itself. We've got this really nice uh, polymer style, pull pin style quick release. That comes off right here. Once this pin is pulled, this piece that's attached to the fire extinguisher comes off as well. that and uh you know you can use the fire extinguisher which is pretty cool there's also a nice little pull to release tab which is pretty sweet and then it looks like we even have a little cable here as well so the h3r extinguisher does come with the standard mount which is really nice uh, i do like the dual dual spring mount clips on here pretty dang high quality and it's partly what i use in my m4 um, with their under seat bracket and I really have had no issues with it at all um, Just pop it off of here and we're gonna install these brackets however so once you have the clamps on you just put on this little bracket here and it does just have provided stainless hardware which is great there are some uh, rib nut type situations on the back side over here and it'll go through those and uh, we can even put on these little nuts at the end there as well to make sure this thing is super secure. 
So with the fire extinguisher all set up, you can see the locking pin goes right in there. You have the extra cable so you don't lose the release pin. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that onto the base so that it stays with the base right here on one of these screws when we install it. Now I got those little mounts here. You can just see there are some threaded pieces of steel that are powder coated, pretty cool. Very simple and basic. Um, and then we do have some more stainless hardware here. And oh, we have some black hardware as well. So we can kind of see what we want to use there. So the little mount bracket is just able to slip right behind here. I think I can mount it on my Molly shelf. Um, I have a couple things on here now. You know, I got the first aid kit. I got a doggy first aid kit hanging down here. Um, quite a few things on the upper one. We got this guy. This blue seas situation, it kind of does take up a little bit of room. But over uh, right here, this seems like a clear access area as long as it doesn't interfere with the rear window. So I got to check that out. But yeah, overall, that should work out pretty well. Super cool on this. You literally just yank the pin out and then boom, we can uh, deploy the fire extinguisher and then employ the uh, pass method, which we're going to pull the pin. We're going to aim the freaking fire extinguisher. We're going to. S for squeeze, squeeze this bad boy, and then we're gonna sweep and put out the, the fire at the base of the fire. So pretty cool on that, um, you know, just good to have. If you don't have one of these in your car, highly recommend to have at least one fire extinguisher in the car. I'm actually rocking two, a halo guard up front, and this one has their uh, billet release, which is really nice. This one is gonna be better for like under the hood or inside of the car or something like that but the billet uh, mount is very nice. And this is a dry chemical agent one on this. You can see that really nice mount right there as well too. Um, stays up and out of the way. It's easy to deploy if necessary. Um, and I really like the location and the mounting. It works great. Really the only reason you have a freaking fridge back here is for this, but man, H3R fire extinguisher working freaking sweet, man. Let's see about this. Pull tab, and deployed, baby. Super sweet. That thing just pops right in there. Bam. And the pan is in there. Good to go. I love it. All right, doing a quick loadout for the trip. Um, this whole FinFab rack is really nice. I got the, uh, the little paper towel holder, and this is from Harbor Freight, and I just used the magnetic ones, great. Got my shovel kind of right up here, put a couple of rags to silence vibrations. Um, also have a half inch uh, Milwaukee kit. I put a pack out situation underneath here, and uh, I put a little bit of um, microfibers down there to reduce the rattle. Also have like a little um, foam piece that I'll put over the back window uh, for reflectix to keep in the heat or whatever um obviously we got the fridge kind of packed out um that's gonna chill right there got my new little jackery situation right here for extra power if necessary um got a jump starter back there and all that mosquito killer or warder offer um we got our off cambo we got our sandy cats water filtration system right here so that's great um, if we need to do a shower or anything like that, um, I could definitely fill that with water. So I'm going to need to do that, fill that up, but yeah, all together, really cool. Um, let's get this thing loaded out. So overall, thanks for watching the video, guys. Love it. Later and wrench on.